Hi everyone, Liz here. Thanks for stopping by. So I've had a little bit of fun this morning. Um, I've been out to our local Hobby Craft store, which is like a big craft superstore. I believe it's similar to Hobby Lobby in the US. Uh, I keep meaning to look up whether they are the same company or not. I believe they are because the formats um, and some of the logos look fairly similar. They say this, this is the Hobby Craft one there, look. So yeah, oh, I'm not sure what's going on with my camera. I seem very low today. Um, I've been trying to move my desk around um, and I got my desk in a great place and then realised that my thing for my camera doesn't reach that far. So I've got to rethink it all again. So I'm back basically to where I was. Anyway, so let's have a look at these. Um, some just standard things that I've got and then some little exciting bits and pieces as well. So I've just got uh, a new pack of 25 8x8 cards and envelopes. Anybody that's been watching me for a while, uh, you will know that I came into diamond painting a through card making. Better. Sorry, I've just had another play about with the stand. I've got like one of those swirly stand things, but it's completely straight and it, it just isn't working for me at the moment. I must get that sorted. Anyway, so yeah, so I got uh, 25 8x8 cards. There were £7. Gosh, I can remember when you used to be able to get two packs of these for £5 at the shows, but never mind. But I do like... Um, to have this as like a base card and then put a smaller card in the middle and I can either add an edging or ink the borders or anything like that. So yeah, I thought I'd better stack up, stack up, stock up for Christmas. <gasps> there, I said it again. So yeah, that's just a staple that I do use an awful lot of. Uh, and while I was in there, I thought, yeah, I can probably go and look for them cheaper. But by the time I've run around looking everywhere, it's probably just as cheap to buy those as well. And I know that the Hobbycraft ones usually are pretty good quality. Um, I've then got, following on from oh, my ceiling experiments that I was doing, um, I've now got Hobbycraft's own uh, decoupage medium, as they call it, which is basically uh, like the crystal art sealer, the diamond art sealer, um, for sealing your diamond paintings and your diamond projects. So I've got one, that's the standard sealer and finish, which is like the crystal art sealer and um, like Mod Podge, that kind of thing. I've then also got a dishwasher safe one. So I've already got the waterproof one in the Mod Podge, which we're going to try. I've got a dishwasher safe one. So I'm going to put a sticker or something on a mug and cover it in that and then put it in the dishwasher and see what happens. I'll put an extra filter on my dishwasher because I don't want lots of diamonds going down my dishwasher and uh, ruining that. Yeah, that would make it a very expensive experiment if I had to get a new dishwasher. And then I've got the fabric one. So this will be interesting to see actually how this works and whether you can put a crystal art sticker or something onto a t-shirt or something and be able to wash it. So we will see. So we've got further plays coming up with these three, um, well, a decoupage mediums as they call it. You can use them for your standard decoupage as well. Uh, and I will read the instructions this time, but they're a good size jar and they are 250 mils. And they were all under £10 as well, I believe. I'll try and put the prices on the screen if I remember. Apologies if I don't. Um, but I'll put uh, the links in the description down below. And then you can have a look if you want to go and see them. But yeah, it's nice that they're bringing out their own. There was quite a, a lot of diamond dots in there today as well. And there was a lot of reduced ones as well in the sale. So it's sometimes worth popping into the shop as opposed to just looking online. Because sometimes the store, the shop has set more in stock than the actual online things. So that's those. And then there was a little decker patch um sealer this was just in the sale part it was on special offer so i did used to have this i have done decker patch in the past it's basically where you're putting strips of paper a bit like papier mache posh papier mache i used to call it when i used to see it um at the craft shows and things i used to go to they used to have enormous like giraffe or something like that and ask people to just come and stick a piece of paper on it and use the decker patch so that you could see what it was like and uh, that was always really good fun as well so, so i've had a few projects and i've not got any of this left so i thought we would give this a try as well as a sealer um and see how that compares to the other sealers that i've already done so that's that one and then i thought well if i'm getting some more um 
of the sealants then I'll just get another little pack of brushes and I think these were only about two pound uh, and it's a six pack they are the bristle ones they are metal which I do prefer the plasticky ones because then you don't get the rust spots or anything but I thought oh well uh, for six pound uh, for two pound for six I'll give them a go so that was those then uh, for my A3 folders, I do like to have the A3 card, you know, my uh, display folders. I keep completed canvases in display folders and I also keep canvases to be done in display folders. And that's 30 by 40 is my favourite size. Then I thought, right, I better get some uh, A3 card because I tend to find that I just put them in as I'm doing them. Or I maybe put one or two extra sheets, but uh, I think these were three pound possibly for 25 sheets which was a really good price it's only 160 gsm but uh, i do tend to find that if i'm framing something i use one sheet for each one and it doesn't need to be thick as long as it's you know straight and flat and your diamond painting can go on it then that's fine and i do prefer the black because i do seem to find that the black background does make things pop a little bit more uh, yeah because i don't like the colorful things as well and all my special drills and then just as a bit of fun i got some uh, reindeer ears these were at the till i'm always a sucker for the baskets that are near the till you know and these were two pounds so you may or may not see millie moo um well wearing these well not wearing them but having them on her head and looking totally disgusted but i thought for two pounds they were a bit of fun i just liked the bow with the bells on i thought that was quite a funny so i might actually wear it myself i do wear them when we go to our um scotty christmas parties scotty dog scotty rescue christmas parties i do try and dress up a little bit so yeah i thought they were quite good as well so that's sort of the basics of the haul i've got today but the other exciting bits that I've been meaning to buy for ages, and every time I've gone in, I've forgotten to look, are these. Look, they are from Diamond Dots. Uh, they do do about five or six different ones, I think. And it's basically to use Diamond Dots or whichever dr drills you've got, gems, uh, crystals, whatever, to make your own pictures or to make pictures that they've put in this book as well. So it's a lovely hard, well, soft backed book with sort of a hard spine. So, you know, it's not real floppy and we've got a nice gusset there. So you can open it out and flatten it down. And I just thought, wow, so we have dog breeds. Uh, sadly, no Scotty dog. So, oh, Millie, you don't make an appearance in this one. But it gives you the how to uh, set, setting up for your own um, canvas using blank canvases. Diamond Dots do sell their own blank canvases uh, or you can get them from various different places in rounds or squares. Now, what I would say is if you're doing a blank canvas that's going to have a white background, I would probably use squares to do your picture. If you're going to use one of the pictures in this book, then I would suggest uh, using, you can use rounds or squares. And it tells you the colours and everything that you need from Diamond Dots because they have their own colouring system. This is a freestyle one. This is just giving you an idea of some little diagrams that you can trace um, and put onto your designs and put your gems on, probably just as like a line art really. Uh, they've actually filled that one in look if you can see there they've put the paw print there and then I suppose you would use the fabric sealer to go onto there I'm still not sure I would put one in a washing machine I'm certainly just going to try hand washing first because uh, I really don't want to ruin my washing machine either but yes yeah, so these are this is a French bulldog look so that's the little oops sorry about the glare that's the little picture that they're giving you and then they are giving you a little chart and telling you all the different colours that you need as well. Now, there is a conversion chart from Diamond Dots to uh, DMC codes. So I will probably try and do that. But uh, that's just quite a nice smallish picture. Uh, let me just give it a quick measure. And they've done all the symbols and everything as well for you. Uh, so it's 20 centimetres uh, about seven and three quarter inches 
wide by the length is 10 inches which is 15 sorry 25 and a half centimeters so it's basically a 20 by 25 little picture and you can get those little frames as well to fit these now you can either get there is a double-sided medium that you can use um which is double-sided adhesive sheets which i have done this in the past i have got a, a different book um that has patterns in so you could either use this pattern and cover it over or you could use your magic glue which you probably do and also diamond dots does one as well which you just literally put it onto your canvas and then it it just stays tacky until you need to use it. Uh, as I say, I have done this in the past. And it's oh a video from probably two years ago now where I did actually do this. And I found that, oh, silly me, put far too much, um, put far too much sealer on. But this, as I say, is about two years ago. This is using the... What did I use on this? This was the Craft Buddy Magic Glue. And as you can see, that's still very, very sticky. So it's basically creating your own uh, poured glue canvases. OK, so that was that one. I had to put it onto a mat because I'd used so much. Uh, it just literally was sticking everywhere and it was really, really tacky. And it's still really, really tacky there, look. So, yeah, uh, less is more when you're using this stuff. But uh, the picture is still doable. I believe it was a beagle. Um, and these are books, these are actually like mosaic art where you're colouring in the squares. So, yeah, they do various different ones. This one gives you your colour to colour in um, and you just get your little pictures. But uh, these are like a step up from it. These are like go, moving on to proper diamond art now doing it this way. And then the other one I did. So that's that one. I think this is the double sided tape one. Yeah, it is. So that one is the double sided tape again, still sticky. And I think you can just see on that corner there. I can just, yeah, just getting a piece rather like double sided cellar tape, double sided sticky tape. It's one great big piece that you just put over your canvas. Now, the only thing with these is that the designs are actually blank. So when you look at them, what have I done here? Oh no, they've got a they've got a black background, so that when you're colouring in, I thought there was pictures of them all. Where's the pictures? I'm sure there was a picture of everyone. Let me just have a look. Talk amongst yourselves while I just have a flick. As I say, it's probably about two years since I've touched this. Oh no, there isn't. It just tells you what they are. So yeah, there was uh, 55. Oh sorry, 55. There was what have we got? Uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24 and then, well, 25 different pictures in this book to do. But as I said, they do really want colouring in um, first unless you're going to do them as squares. So there is sort of the little bits of pictures there. And there is that little picture there. They're called Mystery Mosaics. They do all sorts, dogs, cats. Um, what was the other ones they did? I think they do butterflies. I think they maybe do dragons and things. All from Amazon. If you look up Mystery Mosaics there, they still do them. I think these were about £10-ish. Can't quite remember. I'll see if I can dig out the link for the video. Uh, but yeah, it was making, a pod, making your own canvases, I think I titled the video. Um, and these are three millimetres by three millimetres. So, yeah, they're roughly the size of your gems. So, yeah, that was uh, that booklet that I got there. So, yeah, it's the same sort of thing, um, just that it's now diamond dots and a little bit easier. And it's got obviously a lot more colours as well. So that's the French Bulldog. We then have the a Chocolate Labrador, which is gorgeous. And the little Daxi. Oh, look at that one. Is that not cute? Oh, what? Sorry, I've got lots of shadows again today. We've got husky eyes, those beautiful blue eyes. Been watching some huskies on uh, TikTok going, no, 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 no. 
they are funny uh, we've got a beagle there now they've put this one on a bag so what they've done is they've done it then they've cut it out which i like doing as you know i mean that's a good shape that one actually um and then obviously sealed it and stuck it onto a bag so yeah that would be interesting as well mm, okay uh, we've got a little pomeranian very very cute and a little yorkshire terrier a little yorkie and we have a boxer now this is an american style boxer because uh, we don't uh, clip ears in the uh, uk and um, this one's had its ears clipped so that they stand up pointed whereas ours still have the ear flaps on so that you know well they don't have pointed ears they have ears that flop over like that so yeah but it's still cute i mean you could still actually add it on there's nothing to stop you just adding the little flap on there uh, it would be quite easily done but uh, actually that one looks pretty uh, fed up <laughs> maybe waiting for his tea and then the golden retriever or oh, who doesn't love a golden retriever unless you have a red carpet and you look after your friend's golden retriever for the week and your carpet overnight goes white yeah they do tend to lose quite a bit of hair and a happy smiley corgi yeah think of our late queen she liked corgis so yeah that's got a really happy smiley face and then at the back or is that the last page they have given us an alphabet as well which is always good because if you are wanting to personalize something um or do a name for somebody's room or something then you've got all your letters it shows you how to do your letters um and what i would probably do is get a blank canvas and you can either do it like counted cross stitch and count across how many squares you need or you could um put a piece of paper over the top and trace it uh, I'm just trying to think how I did my Scotty. I think I actually had the double-sided tape on a transparency um, and uh, did it on over the top and sort of like like tracing but putting the gems over like tracing. I'll have to try and do it on screen one day and we'll have a play with that but uh, that will be future probably after Christmas now because I've got so much Halloween and then we have gnome November in November where I'll be doing lots of gnome canvases, gonk canvases and then Christmas of course, lots of Christmas stuff so yeah but it's uh, quite good and we've got the capitals and the small letters as well there in the bottom so that's a fairly standard nice font but i think these were only four pound as well which is an amazing price when you think you're getting uh, 10 charts for diamond painting and it's a way of using up your spare crystals as well you don't have to buy the diamond dots one you can uh, use up your own and then i just thought i'd get this one because this is like uh, designs it's 63 projects and these are smaller projects um again your diamond dots logo and everything and it's got a little bit thicker spine this one it's a lot heavier book and i think this one was only four pound as well there was a christmas one but it had no patterns in it at all and i thought oh i'm not paying for it if it's not got patterns in because i can get images from the internet royalty free images from the internet like coloring pages and things if i'm wanting to have a play about which is all that one seemed to be there is a cat one as well um and there is what was the other one that i saw I think there was like geometric designs one as well but these were the two that i thought oh i quite like those i'll have about a play about with those so again it tells you all about your diamond dots about the fact that they um do sell the plate blank canvases your pens your gems and everything and um, we've got it in all your different languages as well and then it's just giving you like a little rainbow one so that's quite a nice one to start off with and if you cut it off there you could probably make that into like a coaster Sorry, I'm trying to stay out of the uh, light, but it's difficult because I'm trying to read it and um, stay out of the light at the same time. So we've got like a bookmark shape, which they've put onto a jewellery box. And that one's like a little picture or a little coaster. And again, it's up to you whether you actually put the background in um, or whether you just literally do the design. If you're doing it square, you could cover the whole thing in squares. Uh, what I was saying about the white if you're using rounds and diamond dots are mainly round you end up with that white showing through on the background which isn't everybody's cup of tea uh, it depends on what you like um, and whether you mind having that showing through unless you wear, wear unless you use squares so we've got a little floral 
we've got um, a lovely, is that like a lily or something, flower, a few butterflies, um, a little like heather design there. Uh, is it heather? No, it's going to be a thistle, isn't it, that? Um, and then a few mandala styles. We've got an iris. Um, no idea what that one is. Oh, we've got a pineapple. And yeah, it looks like they've used them on several different mediums. Oh, we've got a whale and a shark. Oh, like those. Uh, obviously, because these are smaller designs, they do look a little bit more pixelated, but they're still great fun to do. I like that one. That's really good. I do like that one. Um, back to flowers again. That's Heather. Oh, we've got some puss there. Look, uh, in a little love heart. It's my wedding anniversary this month. So 25 years married. Can you believe it? I can't. I still feel the same age as I did when uh, I first met hubby. But uh, yeah, obviously my uh, knees ache a little bit more and uh, a lot's happened since then. Oh, that's nice. That's quite a big design. So yeah, and they've put that one on a notebook. So yeah, and then we've got the cutie ones. Look, oh, look at the giraffe. Oh, I love that. And a dog. <laughs> oh, that's excellent. And a little black cat and a happy teddy, which again, They've done it so you can do it in blue or pink or lemon or whatever colours you want to do it in. Uh, we've got some emojis. Very good. And some words and hearts. I'm not keen on that. Um, that, oh, I suppose it's okay. Oh, that's a bit naughty doing it over two pages. I suppose... You could photocopy the page from the book if you don't want to be using your book, but you're not really supposed to do that because they are copyrighted to the book. Um, so I haven't told you that. <laughs> oh, we've got a bee. That's nice. And a teapot. Uh, more flowers. Oh, and a toucan. The four-leaf clover. So this one's really good. This has got an awful lot of designs in it and they are smaller. So if you're wanting to start off, um, and you've maybe thought about tackling a heaven and earth design or something like that, which are like converting the cross stitches to diamond painting and starting off with your blank canvas and literally counting your squares. Then maybe something like this would be easier to start off on uh, to do it and see whether you like it or not, rather than spending a lot of money on a big canvas. Oh, now that's nice because that's two different colours. That's uh, Similar to an ombre effect, I suppose, um, in your letters. And again, you've got your capitals and your small letters. And then we've got numbers on this one as well. So that's pretty good. Always handy to have an alphabet. That's a little bit larger, sort of plate mandala style. Oh, that's pretty as well. That is really uh, super. I like that one. And then just a little bit more about diamond painting. Uh, oh, we've got another one we've got ha about how to do names there, plotting out your names. Oh, more alphabets as well. Oh, that's good then. It's worth it for the alphabets, to be honest. Um, plan your layout name. So, yeah, you could copy that um, or get, I presume this is similar to, you know, graph paper that we used to use at school. I don't suppose kids these days have ever seen it, but we used to have like um, graph paper at school for maths and things. Um, and use that and I should think that's probably what that is I think it's probably the same size I don't even know if you can still buy books of graph paper or exercise books or anything but that's what we used to use that's pretty as well so I don't think they're well worth the money oh and we've got a blank graph at the back and more patterns wow so yeah I mean you could literally if you've got a photograph um and you know you can manipulate things if you're a little bit clever you could probably manipulate your own photograph onto there to do your own pictures or do your own drawing or whatever so i just thought they were really good and definitely worth the money so yeah that was uh, my little bit of fun it was far too busy today to do any filming in uh, hobby craft uh yeah there was just people everywhere and um, there was one little a girl with her dad and her dad was getting really frustrated with her it was just so funny she, he kept saying to her can we just concentrate on what you need to do for your school project rather than looking at everything in the shop and uh, i thought that's just spoken like a true non-crafter <laughs> gone there with her she'd have been in there all day <laughs> but that was a definite frustrated dad uh, there was another little boy and he was buying um, a model aeroplane to make which was nice to see 
um, and then there was another uh, little girl, I think she was with her grandma and they were at the till and her grandma was saying to her, oh, I don't know what you're wanting to do, but I can only do things that are simple. So don't be wanting to get anything that's not simple. And I think she spent hours choosing this fabric and this pattern that she wanted to do. I think it was a school thing again to make a pair of pyjamas. Um, and she got to the till and decided she didn't like it. Well, it was a great big long queue at the till. Plus, she'd already spent, spent hours. So, <laughs> Grandma in frustration was just sort of saying, well, can we not just maybe have a go at doing this one? Because the lady says that this one is easy. So, if we do the easy one and see how we get on, and then we can maybe come back and have another look. <laughs> just conversations like that going all over the shop it was just really really funny so yeah it was uh, great fun but as I said I couldn't film because there was just too many people and particularly too many children and I always try and not film people if I can uh, and I particularly don't want to be filming children because obviously you need permission and it's you know uh, not fair or whatever anyway so but yeah there was some fantastic conversations going on so I was chuckling going round and then I get to the till uh, and the girl who was on the till said oh I've not seen those have we had those very long I said well I've been seeing them for at least maybe six months on the website and every time I come in I forget to look for them so uh, I was talking to her and talking about my YouTube channel um and uh, she was saying she has an art YouTube channel as well uh, sadly I didn't get the name because uh, there was people tutting behind me so I thought oh I better move on but yes yeah, so it was quite a fun afternoon we had quite a lot to see quite a lot to do and then finally I will just give a shout out to uh, Tower Computers um, I'll put his details there uh, he came and rescued me uh, the reason for no video yesterday was because my laptop decided it didn't want to play anymore uh, it is only well it's two years old but I've only actually been using it for about well, less than a year. Um, it's a Windows 11 and I had to be dragged screaming and kicking away from my Windows 7 laptop. And uh, yeah, it lived in a box in the uh, living room for a year before I actually touched it. And then anyway, I'm using it. And the memory got full and I couldn't work out why. And I thought, I'm just so out of touch now. I've done a lot of computer um, computer engineering and BTECs in computers and all sorts. Um, and I'm just totally out of date now. You know, I started off with like DOS um, and the original Windows and things like that. So, you know, things have just moved on too fast. And it seems to me that the more um, computers come out, the more they evolve, the less you can actually do on them um, regarding getting in and actually sort of customising it and doing bits and things you need. And I thought it's going to be something really, really simple and I just haven't got the time to spend hours looking for it. I spent a whole day trying to sort it out as it was and I just couldn't do it. So I just thought, oh, I'm going to get somebody. Uh, and he came and he was a fantastic young man. Came in this fantastic car. Oh, my goodness me. He drew up and Hubby said, well, he's obviously uh, good at his job because look at the car he's driving. <laughs> but, yeah, he was lovely. He was great. Um, he explained everything in really good terms so I can highly recommend him so anybody that's sort of in the East Riding area uh, yeah I can highly recommend him so there you are uh, I said I would give him a shout out so he left me a card and uh, I will definitely be calling back on him he's given me quite a few tips as well from my laptop um, and even uh, showed me um, a new hard drive that I can get that will go in my laptop, will work in my laptop with a bigger hard drive capacity and everything. So, yeah, it was really, really good and a very good price as well. So, yeah, thank you to Draw for coming uh, and Tower Computers. OK, well, I think that's uh, about everything I needed to say. Uh, so sorry about no video yesterday, but uh, that's computers for you. Technology is a marvellous thing when it works. When it doesn't, oh, my goodness. <laughs> Well, anyway, I hope you've enjoyed looking at these with me. Lots of fun things to come uh, later on in the channel. Let's say we've got that uh, extra ceiling and we'll be having a play with these as well. And I'm sure these will be making appearances at some point. And we'll maybe get around to doing some Christmas cards as well. OK, well, as I say, if you've enjoyed this, as always, a thumbs up is very much appreciated. I I really do appreciate all the comments and thumbs up and everything that I get. It really helps the channel. It helps me. And uh, yeah, it makes me smile. Uh, if you've got any comments or questions in the comments down below, and I will get back to you as soon as I can. 
and if you want to come back and join our little family and see some of these projects get done then if you press that subscribe ch channel down in this corner look the camera's moved so i'm having to find out where it is uh, and then the little all notifications bell pops up you'll be notified when my videos come up so you're not going to miss anything yay okay thanks for stopping by and i do hope to see you all again soon bye for now